Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn Viewport Render in Blender 4.2. Viewport Render allows you to render what you see directly in the 3D viewport, using modes like Solid, Wireframe, or Material Preview. It's much faster than full rendering because it skips complex calculations like lighting and shading. Let's see how it works. In the 3D viewport, we have a table and some fruits on it. To take a snapshot of the active viewport, go to the View menu, Viewport Render Image. That's it. To save the image, go to the Image menu, choose any image format, and save as the image. You can also make some settings in the viewport. Open up the Viewport Shading menu. If you want, you can watch my tutorial on viewport shading from the link. As you can see, the default lighting method is Studio. You can choose any studio lighting from the list. The mat cap is a shading option that applies a pre-made material to your model in the viewport. It doesn't affect the actual materials in your scene, but gives you a quick way to preview your model's shape and details using different lighting and shading styles. Enable the world space lighting and adjust the rotation of the studio lighting. The default color type is set to material. If you want to change any object's color in the viewport, select the object and go to the material properties tab. Scroll down to the viewport display panel and pick any color. Go back to the Viewport Shading menu and switch the color type to Object. Select the object and go to the Object Properties tab. Open up the Viewport Display panel and pick any color. You can switch the color type to Texture if objects are already textured. You can also enable the viewport shadow and adjust the darkness of the shadow. The cavity option in Blender helps highlight details on your model in the 3D viewport by adding shadows to edges and crevices, so it makes small details easier to see. If you are happy with the result, go to the View menu and Render Viewport Image. You can remove axes, lines, and grids on the ground. Go to the Viewport Overlays menu and disable the axes and floor options. Go to the View menu and render the viewport image. That's it. You can also change the viewport background color. Go to the Viewport Shading menu, switch the background to Viewport, and select any background color. Render the image. That's it. If you want, you can change the aspect ratio of the image. Click the Output Properties tab and set the X and Y resolution values to 1080 pixels. When you render the image, the new image will be square. That is suitable for Instagram posts. You can also increase the resolution. Set the X and Y resolution values to 4096 pixels. That's it. What if you want to make the background transparent? In this case, Click the Render Properties tab, scroll down to the Film section, and enable the Transparent option. When you render, the image background will be transparent. To save the image in PNG format, go to the Image menu, select the PNG format, and ensure that the RGB Alpha channel is selected. Rename the image and save as. 
Now you can overlay the image on another image. You can also use a camera for viewport render. Press Shift A and add a camera. Press Ctrl Alt Numpad 0 to align the camera to view. Click the lock icon and lock the camera to view. Select the table, rotate, zoom, and pan to adjust the perspective as you desire. Don't forget to unlock the camera again. Render viewport image. You can also use wireframe and material preview modes for viewport rendering. Press the Z key to switch to wireframe mode. Render viewport image. That's it. Switch back to solid mode. All right, let's learn how to render videos in the viewport. I want to make a simple rigid body animation. Select the table, go to the physics properties tab, and add rigid body. Switch the rigid body type to passive. Select the apple and add rigid body. The rigid body type will be active. Select other fruits by holding the shift key. Select the apple lastly. Go to the object menu, rigid body, and copy from active. Move up the fruits on the Z axis. Hit the space bar to play the simulation. All right, let's render the animation in the viewport. Click the Output Properties tab and set the resolution and aspect ratio as you wish. You can choose any FPS value you need. You can set the end frame of the animation. In the Output panel, you can choose the folder you want to save your animation. Select the file format MPEG video. Open up the encoding panel and switch the container type to MPEG-4. Go to the Render menu and disable the Transparent option. This will render the background as it is. Go to the View menu, Viewport Render Animation. Alright. Now, let's learn about transparent background video rendering in the viewport. Enable the Transparent option again. Go to the Output Properties tab, switch the container type to QuickTime. Switch the video codec to QuickTime Animation. Switch the color channel to RGB Alpha. Set the keyframe interval to 1. Go to the View menu, Viewport Render Animation. So you can save the animation in QuickTime format and open it with software that supports QuickTime. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.